Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. You're still watching this very special episode of Nile Cruz uh, from uh, the uh, campus of the Cairo University. And, uh, uh, dear viewers, uh, for this segment and this topic of discussion, we're going to be talking about the, the Inactus Egypt team from the Cairo University who were named uh, as the Inactus World Cup champions and awarded the uh, Ford Better World Award of uh, $50,000. US dollars and uh, the top runners up were from uh, Enactus Canada at uh, Lambton College, Enactus Germany at the University of Mannheim, and an Enactus United States at uh, Brian Uni Young University, Hawaii, also earned uh, the Ford Better World Award uh, Prize uh, uh, winners. And uh, uh, dear viewers, uh, Rama, I believe we have a video. Yes, uh, Karim, we do mm. have a video about uh, the wonderful uh, when they won. Of course, it's a wonderful, very touching video. I we I saw before uh, this interview. You're going to be astonished, dear viewers, and we'll be back again to continue with our winners today. Thanks to the Ford Motor Company Fund. Let's congratulate the Enactus World Cup 2019 champion, the team from... Egypt! كان في يعني منافسة كبيرة جدا لأن الدول كانت صعبة يعني كنا بننافس في الآخر كمان أمريكا وكندا وألمانيا بس كلنا كنا في اللحظة دي متأكدين إن إحنا فخورين بإن إحنا مخليين اسم مصر هي الأول على العالم. 2019 champion the team from Welcome back, dear viewers. Uh, such an amazing, uh, touching um, um, video. Pride for Egypt, of course, and pride to all students here in Egypt, pride to Cairo University. A very good day, girls, and we have the pleasure to have you with us, of course. Uh, how so do you much. feel after this wonderful achievement that you really did achieve? Well, it's basically the proudest moment of my entire life. I've never felt so happy, and seeing people appreciate that what we're doing is really good for us. So, yeah, it's basically pride. So yeah, I understand that you've got on YouTube uh, millions of followers exactly. uh, um, yes. uh, nowadays. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, well, it's yeah, actually I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, I've never, mm. I've never been this happy before. And uh, people like now, everyone actually when I say in actors, everyone knows. Yeah, you were the one who won the world. You won the World Cup, right? Yes, <laughs> we did, and it's very, very. Touching, actually. Yes, <laughs> um, Mariam, uh, just also allow me to reintroduce you again, Mariam okay. uh, Mohammed and uh, Yara Al Baguri. So, exactly. if you could, about the honoring, if you could tell, uh, I know that your team was uh, of 135, uh, but yes. not all of you have managed to travel. Only 20 of them. No, uh, 20 you, were represented, uh, to my knowledge, uh, with President Abdel Fattah El Sisi in the exactly youth and 20 that took as well. Place here and yeah. also 20 traveled. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Sorry, sorry, can you yeah. write? I'm uh, no, it's fine, but uh, I wanted to know more about uh, this moment when you were uh, uh, honored, uh, uh, even those for, not, for those who didn't manage to travel. Uh, I believe it was a moment of uh, pride and honor. 
Well, mm. unfortunately, we didn't, and we didn't travel. Uh, but uh, when we show, yeah, on the TV, that uh, we were actually honored, we were very, very proud that now the president is actually, well, yeah, and now that the president is actually honoring us with all of this, uh, this, this is a great achievement that now they know, yeah, they know us, and it was very, very touching again. <laughs> I just can't express anything, but. Well, to add on that, uh, there in America, when we were honored as the World Cup champions, uh, there was like three or four seconds where the, the hall was completely silent before announcing Egypt. At this moment, we were at the back of the hall and we were very tensed up and we just we couldn't imagine that we'd be the first place. So when they said Egypt, all of us, you can see in the video that we, all of us, we came running from the back of the hall and it was just a lot of ju jumping, a lot of screams, a lot of chanting the name Egypt. So it was one of the best moments of we our entire life. We saw this in the video, Yara, but I want to know what were you, um, uh, what did you win exactly? Okay, so basically what happens is that um, there's four finalists. Only two get to win. Uh, we, uh, like top two. We, we won a World Cup, which is like a cup that we brought back home. And we won we 50, saw the yeah, yeah, exactly. And $50,000. The $50,000, they get to be split between us, the university and Inactus Egypt. Mm -hmm. With this money, we were able to like reinvest it in the projects that we will be keep doing um, in this year. Yeah. So it's basically as yes, fund from Fort. Yeah, uh, Mariam, if you can tell us more about the project itself that won the prize, uh, the concept, uh, developing this project and so on and so mm. forth. Okay, so uh, Rosie is a project that is from women to women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, what's all about, or the idea that uh, women in the rural vi villages actually don't have uh, supply or access to sanitary pads. Mm -hmm. So what we did is that we went to al Qanat al Khairiya government mm -hmm. and we teach women the know-how of how to make their own pads mm -hmm. from three simple ingredients mm -hmm. uh, fabric cotton and uh, banana fibers mm -hmm. then when we teach them we actually made like a small hub and this hub started producing the pads and we made offline campaigns in other governments and villages mm -hmm. and uh, we sold the uh, pads there so women from the same um, like in the, same, in the same place, they make pads and then they sell them to women who are just facing After the you same taught them, they yes, started, they started, um, like the they started produ yes. producing the they pads producing the and pads. selling them with, with cheaper yes. prices yes. Than, the, the, than the normal uh, pads. Yes, and then the revenues go for the women again mm -hmm. and to supply the project again. So after this first hub, we made hubs in nine governance and it's like a huge project now. And, and it's still working. It's still working, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So it's all for a better and a luxurious life for these women and to have an access to, to a thing that is such critical, but yet it's not there for them, it's not available for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, yeah. it's available, but in a, but in in a, a higher, higher price. price. Yes, but yeah. ours is in a lower price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you can tell us, uh, Yara, about the challenges that you have faced uh, uh, during yeah. uh, this uh, implementing this project? Well, basically, when we talk about menstruation, it's a very taboo subject in Egypt. So it was very hard for us at the beginning to penetrate the market and to penetrate the ladies and to make the issue uh, important to them. Most of them, when we went and talked to them, they were just treating the subject as if it's something not vital, something that they just get along with it for a couple of days in the month. Mm -hmm. So through our marketing campaigns and through our awareness campaigns, we were able to reach over 550,000 women in the rural villages in Egypt and we made them aware of the subject and the issue and they became more uh, concerned about it. So that's the main challenge, yes. yes. Hey, Yara and uh, Mariam, what do you study? Uh, I'm a fifth year clinical pharmacy student in Cairo University. That's how you got the idea of... Um, uh, well, it's not mainly me, it's basically a group a of group. students, exactly. Yeah, okay. But our project was accredited by the University of Pharmacy, okay, the Faculty of Pharmacy, yes. And you, Mariam? Uh, I study in Faculty of Commerce, uh, second year, but I didn't major yet. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, also, another question that comes to mind uh, when speaking about this very, um, uh, very inspiring uh, project uh, to the women of Egypt, uh, um, where did you get the financing from? Uh, well, actually, um, we it's not our first project. We have previous projects. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
يعني basically in Actus projects need to have a, like a revenue stream. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are some of the revenues we take, and we have like a whole team resource management mm -hmm. who يعني, who manage this uh, money mm -hmm. and they budget the. The budget for allocate the current the budget, year, yes. allocate the budget, exactly. yes, mm -hmm. for the current year and the next year. So mm -hmm. we have to start the next year with a budget to finance our projects. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. When did you um, uh, get? Uh, when did you decide uh, to join Enactus? And uh, could you please define Enactus, Ciara, yeah. for the other students uh, at Cairo University if they want to join to understand more about yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. So I basically joined Enactus last year. It was my first year in Enactus. How did you know uh, about? Uh, what happened is that there is an online application that goes off on our social media pages and you just fill in the application then you get a call to go to an interview and once you pass the interview phase you go ahead and become a member of the team. So what is Enactus? It's actually a three syllable word, word that stands for in which is entrepreneurial action, act which is action and uh, us for us all. So it's entrepreneurial action for us all which is basically implementing the business principles and projects that benefits the society. So this is merely in actus, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, another, speaking about the exciting moments, another mm -hmm. uh, exciting moment other than the nomination or the announcement of the prize was that at the World Youth Forum when the team was honored by, was by His Excellency President Afet Hassisi, who is also concerned about women and youth and empowering okay. youth and women. Mm -hmm. If you can tell us more about your feelings uh, at this moment. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, watching, as I said before, watching uh, my team uh, being honored was such a great deal. And it was like the first time for us to have such a huge event like this we we're honored in. And we actually handshake, and they handshake the, His uh, Excellency. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, and also people now more know us more and aware of us more and there are that young young people and or young uh, um, men and women who actually are devoted to make our life and our community better and more more beneficial like this um okay um yara what are your coming plans Okay, so currently I'm a president. And uh, of course, after the helm, you reached, and um, of course, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. going to be it's more a very difficult. high bar. It's a yes, very, very high you, bar. You, you're, we, uh, everyone is going to be expecting more. Exactly. And when you go back again, you're going to be seeking to be the first place again. So it's it's even more difficult yeah. than you, when you started. All right. So what one of the main goals of Enactus is being sustainable. And sustainable means that you it keeps on going, even though if you're not there. So our main goal this year is to transfer the knowledge that we've had for the past years and give it to a new fresh set of minds that they can do even more and achieve even more and have their own experience and we aim to like reach all over Egypt concerning our project the Rosie project and we really aim to just like see the social development growing more and more and seeing every single individual in, the, in, in our society becoming an entrepreneur themselves and providing solutions for the community themselves so that's basically it yeah Yes. Uh, I just want to add something to uh, Yara about uh, the Rosie project. We actually uh, opened hubs in Uganda and yeah. uh, in Sudan, mm -hmm. and Going they are outside. now working. And the like, project actually went there, and they are now selling pads. So yeah. it's a, a very, very great achievement for us. Yeah, it's not only about Egypt. We want to like help all over the world. Yes, so, yeah. uh, we wish you uh, the best of uh, luck and a bright future. Of course, uh, uh, Maria Mohammed and uh, Yorul Bagouri, uh, members thank of Enactus Cairo University and World Cup winners. Uh, thank you so much for being with us on Live Cruise. Uh, thank you for having thank us. You so thank, you. thank you so much for joining us thank and you. wish you best of luck, of course, in your coming future. Uh, dear viewers, stay with us. We still have more for you. Don't go away. We'll be back again.